Hello everyone, welcome to Python Learning Series for Network Engineers. This is the fifth video on how to do Nexus AP automation using Python. In this video, we'll see how to parse show command output using Nexus API message format JSON. In the previous video, we have seen how to parse it using JSON RPC. And here we will look into JSON. JSON RPC was a standard protocol. It is remote procedure call which is defined in the RFC. But here this is Cisco's native method. So this is having more capabilities and that gives better command handling and responses. And command type you can see here this supports CLI show, CLI show array and ASCII. ASCII will be giving the output in a plain text format. And in the command handling capabilities you can send multiple commands which is separated by semicolon and as per Cisco's documentation you need to add a space before and after this semicolon we can execute two commands in this way and if you want to add another command you can add another semicolon here and I'm using message format JSON and we'll try sending this command and you can see we are getting additional information here like input command and the code and message status everything we are getting but this the entire output data the command output is going to be same if you want to see the supported commands you can go to command references by default it supports all these commands and you can see the command schema here we will be able to parse all this data from the json response We'll do some parsing as well. And here, for example, if you have multiple commands, here it is only three commands. So we can manually go and add the semicolon. If you want to add it, we have a shortcut in Python. You can open Python terminal here. I'll give Python three and I'll just create a multi-line string. I will call that as s equal to and i'll give three quotes and paste the content and i'll close it and then i just need to do s dot replace and i just need to replace a new line with so for new line it is slash n so i'm trying to replace all this new line with a space a semicolon and another space if i enter i'll be getting the output here since it is three lines it is easy but if you have some 15 20 lines you can just use this and get the data now we'll paste this content and try sending to the device using message format json and i have received three outputs and same command if I try to send it from JSON RPC. This says request contains invalid special character. It is not able to identify this character. So it is better to use JSON format if you are sending multiple commands in single request. Now let us look into the Python script. Here if you see the script. The only difference from the JSON RPC is this. Let us look into our one of our previous script which we have written using JSON RPC. Here the message the application content type was JSON hyphen RPC. Now that is going to change to JSON. And this script I have explained in the first video. I'll be adding that video also in the description and notification. Now I'll take copy of this. I'll create a new python file 04 I'll add the file and here the method I'll change to json application slash the header is application slash json and I can go to 
request and take this format and here you can see the type is CLI show and all these three commands it is passing in single line so I'll copy this and pass that as a payload and here you can see I have added verify false because my Nexus is not having a valid certificate from trusted source it is using self-signed certificate so I am using this in production I would suggest you to have a valid SSL certificate and here to handle some of the SSL handshake error I am giving I am just suppressing that uh, insecure request warning now we can remove this and we'll try printing the response now we are receiving complete output in the terminal now we will try to pass this output so here the format you can see it is INS API inside that we have outputs then output inside that we have a key called body and inside that we have each command and then that will have its data so let us just try parsing it so to get that we will go to this API response and send it So first we will pass the chassis ID. So it is INS API, then outputs and inside that we have output. So we I'll directly print it. Print response and inside that we have ins underscore api then we have outputs then we have output and after output we have a list so this list contains the three elements because we have executed three commands so the first command was show version so from the show version output the zeroth element we will try taking this body and let me give then from here we will try taking this chassis id Let me copy and paste it. So we'll try running this again. So now we are getting chassis ID. So we are not doing any manual passing. We are getting the data and from here we are able to just read this particular dictionary and pass the data. Same way we will try to pass one more data from here itself we will try to take processor board id so i'll click on this line press ctrl d and i'll take this any data you can take i'm just randomly taking some data to just demonstrate how to parse it now from the first output zeroth element we were taking now we will look into so this is another command and if you look into this response you can see it properly I'll copy this command and execute again this is JSON and I 
and from the show hardware output we will take manufacturer details so let me copy this and I'll click on this line and press ctrl D so that it will copy and paste so I'll give you now first element and inside body I'll give manufacturer now if I try running this I'm passing three data so you can see here so chassis ID then board ID and manufacturer so from the third element so let us take some additional data like interface details so you can see here this is the third command the command is show IP interface brief pprint is printing in this format they are doing some kind of ordering here but this is the actual order what we receive from the device so the input command is show IP interface brief and from that we will take the interface name and IP so let us write that I will take a copy of that and here this is second element in the list and here you can see inside body we have table INTF so table of interfaces I'll give that and inside table INTF we have another key called row INTF so I'll copy that then inside that we can take the interface name same way we can take even the prefix so let us run the script this time I will comment the response the actual response and I will print only the parsed output so we are getting the data in this way any data you can pass from any of these show commands any of these show commands and you should be able to see all the schema from this page and in the next video we will see how to use CLI ASCII and get the output in a plain text format and pass it using regex I hope this video was helpful for you to understand how to pass show command using Nexus API JSON method thanks for watching see you in the next video